Hi everybody, Tammy here. Welcome to my bookshelf. Today I'm talking about some books that I have discovered by a new to me author, Emily Henry. Okay. Um, first off, the first book of hers that I read, uh, actually I listened to it on Audibles and it was called Beach Read. And this was, this author was actually recommended to me by somebody and um, Beach Read was a really good uh, listen to. Okay. I gave it four stars on Goodreads. It was a really good book, so that's why I gave it four stars. Uh, I would have given it four and a half if I could, but um, it, they don't let you do that over there. So, And it wasn't a perfect book, so that's why I didn't get five stars. But anywho, um, yes, Beach Read it takes place on a beach, but it is a, uh, a beach by a lake. And I would say that's one of the only kind of things that kind of threw me off on this. Um, well, there were a couple other things, but uh, yeah, that book, it's, it's on a lake. And they hardly ever even go out to the lake. So um, to me, when I saw the title Beach Read, I was assuming it would be like in a tropical setting or maybe on the east coast of the United States or, you know, something like that. I didn't expect it to be um, at a lake house. And I think lake house might have even been a better title for that now that I say that. But um, but yeah, I liked it. The character, what I, what I liked about that book and really kind of all of her books there so far that I'm learning. Okay, I haven't read all her books yet, obviously. Um, she's fairly prolific. Um, I like that the char there's romance, and it is a romance mainly story, but it's not your typical guy meets girl, they don't get along, and then at the end they realize that they really should be together, blah, blah, blah. Um, that does happen in Beach Read, where they initially kind of don't understand each other and don't think they like one another, but Otherwise, I would have to say um, that do she doesn't drag that out and they get to know each other. And um, yeah, I definitely liked it. I would recommend if you like chick lit or romance, but again, it's not a straight romance novel. So, you know, just be warned. I would definitely recommend that as a listen to or a read. And since I enjoyed it so much, I decided to go by my library and pick up some books from this author. Um, but I guess she's pretty popular because they were on hold. So I had to wait for them. And the first one was People We Meet on Vacation. I ended up actually buying this book. I did get it from the library, but with summer here, I am kind of traveling a lot. And when I travel, I really can't read because I'm either driving or I'm doing stuff with people. And people kind of frown on it if you pick up a book while you're doing stuff with them. Okay. So I ended up having to bring that book back to the library. I probably could have checked it out again, but I was just like, ah, forget about it. I'll just buy it. <laughs> so, so I did. I bought, <laughs> I bought this book. Um, and I actually just finished it a few day days ago. People we meet on vacation. Again, the title is kind of, I don't know. I mean, I guess they did meet people on vacation, but it's not really the focus of the book. Um, this was, not the best. I had to really push through this book, but I'm not deterred on the author. I think she's a wonderful writer and that's why I'm doing a video about her work and telling everybody they should check out her work. Um, but this one, I, I don't know. I just, I did as a writer, I actually found it interesting because she does a back and forth in time kind of thing. Like um, these two characters have a platonic relationship for a dozen years, but once a year they go on vacation together. However, obviously they're in love with each other, but life situations keep them apart. That's kind of where things fell apart for me in this, that 12 years, a platonic relationship, when you really love somebody, you want to jump their bones, but you don't for 12 years, kind of have a hard time believing that. Um, and like I said, she does a chronological back and forth. So she starts at the, you know, she starts at the present time and then goes back and they have lots of vacations. So you go back to all these vacations and as, um, an aspiring fiction author myself, that someday I hope to be holding my own novel in my hands. Um, as it happens, my unpublished, not completely finished, but the whole draft is done novel does that. And I, was talking, I have somebody who's been helping me a little bit with it. And that was one of the things she said was problematic. And now that I've seen somebody do it like this, I can see why it's problematic. Cause I was getting frustrated. I wanted to find out what happens already. 
I don't want all this backstory, too much backstory. That's what I'm going to say. However, if you are an Emily Henry fan, I would say this is still worth checking out. I believe I gave it three out of five stars on Goodreads. So, duh, I forgot to mention another book by Emily Henry that I listened to on Audibles. It was actually the first one I listened to and started my interest in her other works. It's called Book Lovers, and I really enjoyed this. I Again, I almost gave it five stars on Goodreads, but I gave it four stars. Um, I think my, my big con with this one was um, it was funny, but the, the banter back and forth kind of got a little bit... Um, tiring after a while but excellent story really like the characters definitely recommend it and then finally this book happy place just picked it up from the library um hopefully i'll get it done and i only have two weeks which seems like a lot of time but like i said it's summertime and whoop, it's summertime and i'm traveling a lot and now i'm teaching summer classes and summer classes are kind of brutal because there's lots and lots and lots of grading so anyway, um, hopefully I'll get it read. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe, maybe see if I can check it out again if, if two weeks isn't enough. But um, this, again, is one of those things where she had, it's a romance, but it's not your typical romance. This one, these, uh, we start off with the couple, they already know each other, but they're having problems. And so I'm assuming, literally I've only read like the first couple chapters, they're going to somehow work through those problems. And that appeals to me, again, I like how she has romance, but other things are happening in the novel. And the, the characters aren't your typical, you know, boy meets girl, they don't like each other, then they like each other, but they think they don't like each other. You know, she doesn't follow that formula. So, you know, kudos to Emily Henry. She she manages to figure it out. So um, so yeah, I am looking forward to this. I From what I've heard, it is um, better than the previous book, uh, People We Meet on Vacation. So um, so yeah, so hopefully this will be a, a good read for me. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for something different this summer, I do recommend checking out Emily Henry. As usual, I always appreciate a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, this is a small channel. I'm trying to build it, but it's just, you know, I come over here when I have time and time is fleeting right now for this summer. Um, but I really appreciate you spending time with me to see what's on my bookshelf. Bye-bye.